I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. If you haven't learned this version yet, look for information in the video description below. Also, download this player reference. This has all the scoring elements in it, divided by category. There are 81 scoring elements, which is one reason why I like to practice with random pulls. It's a great way to train yourself to see the potential in a drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls. One for each wind of the round, starting with east round. I'm going to roll these dice to determine which seat we're in. For this first one, we're going to be east, since I rolled a nine. Eight, nine. So we're going to be east. I'll get 14 tiles. Okay, 14 tiles. So, single dragons. Pair of seven cracks with cracks. Pair of four dots with the dots. Singles for bams. I think what I would try here is outside hand maybe dragon pungs that would mean sacrificing a pair of fours outside hand is when you have a one or a nine or winter dragon in each block that is number 55 and it is four fawn so we would have to come up with four more fawn in order to qualify to win and that's where the dragons come in. A pung of dragons is too fun. Another potential that I see here is mixed triple chow. We have an eight, a nine, and a seven nine in each suit. <clears throat> we could maybe do seven, eight, nine in each suit. There's also, oh, and incidentally, that Mixed Triple Chow is number 41, 8 Fawn. So I think that's what I would try here. Outside hand, either Mixed Triple Chow or Dragon Pungs. I would start by discarding these. Let me just count something here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Or let's see, if we do... I was just thinking, what about if we do all simples instead? So that would be four discards for outside hand dragon pungs. But if we did all simples, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six discards. Two less discards for outside hand and potential for mixed triple chow. I think I would stick with that idea. I just think it's... This bothers me. Discarding a pair of fours. Four, four, six. But there's only four discard as opposed to six. I think I would still do that. Outside hand, potential for mixed triple chow. If you see something different here, let me know. So now we're going to do south round. This time we'll be in west seat.
flour. I would try for a pure straight. Pure straight is number 28, sequence of nine plus any other meld and a pair. That's 16 fawn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All we need is a five or a six. And then here we could pung and pair up, I guess, any of these, really. I think I would try for a pure straight here. We're one away if we can get a five or a six. That would be nice, pure straight. And we could do it mostly concealed because we have two chows right there. So if we expose a four, five, six and have the rest concealed, they won't know what we're doing. So get a five dot or six dot for a chow, pung here, be waiting on a pair. I would discard the dragon so that we're maybe waiting on a pair of simples. I think that's how I would play this one. Let me know what you think about this or if you would do something different. Maybe discard the eight because we do have all the twos. I still think pure straight is best. West round. I rolled a four. So that means we are going to be north. Look at all these cracks. We have a pung of threes. I think I would go for half flush. Half flush is when you have one suit with winds and dragons. Half flush number 50, that's six fawn. So we would need score somewhere else. We are in north seat and it's west round. These two could bring a score potentially if we pair up and pung. And we would get two fawn out of each of those. So we have a chow, potential pung, potential chow. And then here we need to pair up and pung. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe, okay, now let me just do this. Four discards with that plan, half flesh. The other thing that we could do is all simples. That would be five discards. I think four discards is better. Plus all simples is only two, is only two fawn, that's number 68 we would need a lot of repeating patterns or something like that in, in here. So I don't think all simples is good enough. I think half flush with these tiles. If you would do something different here, this is West Pull. Let me know what you would do with these tiles. So this is going to be North Pole. I rolled a three, so we're going to be in West Seat.
Okay, for this one. One, seven, nine, three bams, five cracks, ones and nines, three, five, eight, dragons. I wonder if we could do, let's see how many tiles we have to lesser honors and knitted tiles. That's number 34, 12 fawn, 369, 147, 258, and dragons or wins, all singles. We would have six discards. That's terrible. Okay. So let's see, we could do all simples. One, two, three, four, six discards. Simples are two through eight. So I don't think I would do that. What about outside hand? Okay, that's better. There's work to be done here though. Outside hand is when you have one and nine in each block with winds and or dragons. We'd have to sacrifice pair of fours. Outside hand though is four fawn. We would need those dragons or mixed triple chow. Seven, eight, nine, or one, two, three. We have one, one, three, and three. There's equal opportunity there. So I think that's what I would try. Outside hand, mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chi is Ricci term. Mixed triple chow will be MCR. So there's another scoring element called two terminal chows. Number 72, that's one fawn, one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine, and one suit. Obviously, we're lacking the seven and the eight, and we're lacking it here too. So I think that's what I would do with this one, outside hand. If you see something else, write North Pole in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles. Outside hand, hopefully we could pair up and pung these because that would meet the eight because these are two fawn each if we can pair up and pung. Otherwise that mixed triple chow would need to be part of this hand. I'm relatively new to Mahjong competition rules. There are a lot of scoring elements to learn, and that's why I like to do random pulls. If you have a set of Mahjong tiles at home and you want to learn this version, don't forget to download this player reference and do some random pulls. I have learned a lot about seeing the potential in a drawn hand. It's good to have a plan, but you got to stay flexible. Mahjong is very situational, and discards and exposures that happen at the table could affect your plan. So knowing the scoring elements is key. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos, and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls. For Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.